much any of the states as the exchanges, and the exchanges are the core to the whole thing. Kentucky and a number of states that's working well. Well, uh, on to other matters. Before, uh, before we see you guys next week, we'll have witnessed elections for governor in Virginia and New Jersey, and uh, in New York City, uh, New Yorkers will elect a mayor. Uh, David, what significance, if any, do you do? You th what would you expect to see in any of those results? Well, the most interesting state is the Virginia state. It's uh, it's a nominally a purple state, or at least a, a bipolar state, uh, with a heavy red part and a pretty heavy blue part now. Uh, and so there, Terry McAuliffe looks like he's going to win. There's a big libertarian candidate who's right now got like 10% of the vote. He's not going to end up with that. So there may be some swing back to the Republicans, but Cuccinelli, the Republican, has not led really in any of the polls. And I think his problem is not so much the government shut down, not so much uh, even the demographics. Sean Trend of Real Clear Politics said it's his stridency. His social issues are very strident, and the postures he's taken are very strident. And that's just out of tune with the times, even in a state like Virginia. Polls show uh, Cuccinelli, the Republican, way behind with women voters. Uh, the Washington Post poll uh, showed him 24 points behind among women. I think that you're going to get similar messages, even though an opposite partisan result from Virginia and New Jersey.